Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here with a video here today. Bring us a brand new video showcasing some really cool mock-ups that you guys can use on your portfolios. So, you guys have noticed I'm doing a little bit of portfolio reviews here and there. You probably hear me talking about like, yo, like mock up this, mock up that, but you I don't really showcase. I I don't think I've ever had I've had like two tutorials ever on like mock-ups and stuff like that. So hey, here we go. I got you guys some really cool ones that I feel like could be basically used for like headings fillers, just an overall excitement of showcasing your project, and uh, I think you guys are going to love them. I think it's around 10 or 11, which will all be in the description down below, by the way, to also download, but also, for the record, check out the sites as well. They are really good, awesome sites for free, personal uh, use and commercial use mock-ups, so if you're looking for stuff for clientele, just for stuff for presentation for personal use, it's going to look dope. So, with that being said, enjoy today's video. English is hard. Enjoy today's video. <laughs> enjoy today's video, and I uh, love you guys. Peace. The first one that I have for you guys is a really cool perspective web screen mockup that I think is also really awesome to use for layouting things like 16 by 9 pieces. Simply having this be the intro heading piece to show what people are about to dive into when they first start scrolling your page, or just a nice break from the layout that you went with. And for the record, if you guys are new to mockups, this little web page down here is referring to a smart object, which mockups use to hide another project sometimes. Double click on this page to open up a new document page and place your design in here. Then go ahead and save this newly opened page, and on your previous page, the mockup, it'll be fully updated. Super simple. Next would be this isometric box. Looks simple in the example, but can easily be used to lay out or conceptualize for an audience a more branding route and showcasing some color schemes. With most mockups, you can definitely do more than the original intent of whoever made it, designing the box's theme for a grid view, or just using a few boxes with the same design, layouting logos, colors, slogans. All that can be a really great way to illustrate a vision. Now, for the last one for this category, it's another isometric style grid. However, this one you can play with a lot more different dimensions like IG stories, posters, photos, and still have a home for your 16x9 projects. Something like this for me is what I would actually end up placing, like minus the background, right in the middle of my project just so that I can go ahead and summarize many of the pieces or projects that someone just saw. It's super clean and to the point, I think all these are really, really good pickups. Alright guys, so now for some showcase mockups that I think you guys should all definitely have. I think everyone needs a laptop mock-up, whether if it's to showcase a cool website they just created or to showcase an example you created for a social media header. You can also make your own quick mock-up for it, right? And place your design on that page. Then toss it on the screen mock-up just to show more of a relevance and also get a really cool client perspective. And of course, I need to throw a iPhone mock-up in as well. I'll also throw in a few more for the record in the description, but I love this one personally because of the perspective and it wasn't front-facing. But the same premise, if you want to fill your project with wallpapers or maybe like a cool little mobile app, it's super easy to use and they're all really, really good quality. Then we have this open page magazine mockup. Another way to either lay out different pieces within the magazine or if you wanted to, of course, create a magazine page. Either way, they're both very, very fun concepts to bring to life a possible poster or advertiser for a company. Short and sweet and just easy pickup for me. Now, this next one is a flyer mock-up with a few different perspectives. I can easily see someone using this layout for a vertical format project. For me, I would actually take this mock-up and rotate it a few times. That way, it gives the illusion of like these really cool falling pieces. It could be a fun, cool way to break up your project layout and introduce a really cool, exciting, stationary, but in motion feeling. I don't know if you kind of feel what I'm saying there. And of course, they work on their own as well. Even if you want to place them side by side by side, it can also look very, very dope. So if you're looking for something to showcase some posters or advertisements, this is definitely a really cool one. And for the last one in these single showcase mockups is a billboard concept. I see so many advertisements and branding products for esports teams. This is by far one of the cleanest free billboard mockups I've seen with the textures and all that good stuff. And I think it's just a mistake if you don't grab it. So if you need some kind of way to spice up your next project and get some realism in there as well, like real life use cases, this is definitely a really cool one. Now, for our last category, we have to, of course, include some really cool clothing mock-ups. I know a lot of you guys love apparel and love adding some merch ideas to your branding projects, so here you go. And just so you guys know, I'm going to throw them all in one frame just so it saves us all some time. Uh, but I do want to mention, with free mock-ups for a lot of clothing pieces, they're labeled with colors to identify what is actually editable. So in this case of the mock-ups that I gave you guys, that would actually be red. So if you're looking to figure out what is actually editable, just look to the left in little square. If it's red, that's probably going to give you a better idea. Also, if you guys ever want to see what exactly might be changing, simply hold control on your keyboard and select the thumbnail of the layer to see where it's actually highlighted. This will give you a better understanding of what you might be changing or you, what you possibly want to change next. It's definitely far better than opening every single edit page just to see what you want to go ahead and change. 
But even if you guys weren't planning on adding some really cool clothing stuff to your next project, just saying these, these I think are pretty cool enough to go ahead and start doing so. Alright guys, so that is the end of the video here today, so hopefully you guys did find some really cool projects, or at least some really cool, excuse me, presentations for your projects, and I hope that you guys use them, and you guys actually elevate them, of course now you want to have more urge to search for more cool ones, um, yeah, that's all I got, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please sure to leave a like on the video, of course, if you guys are new, you guys probably subscribe, it's, I'm like here a lot, uh, I got a really cool tutorial coming, or not tutorial, video coming maybe next week or the next, if it gets edited on time, um, but yeah, I love you guys, I appreciate all the support on the channel, recently I just just been feeling myself and I'm feeling good you guys are making me feel good I feel like I'm getting better content and like you know it's kind of like a back and forth thing I love you guys I'll talk to you guys later Seso HQ out says I said don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking productive guys I love you so very much peace and enjoy your weekend